good morning everyone my name is shashank rane and i am your presenter for today's webinar i am working as an application specialist in cadmatic and i welcome you all for today's webinar the topic is cadmatic 3d project electrical design using fully automated cable router solution so the schedule for today's webinar will be as follows for first 10 minutes we will have a company introduction and overview of the webinar after that we will start with our session on cable router and at the end we will have a question and answer session so if you have any questions you can ask us and we will answer your questions in that session so before starting there are some general information for all the attendees to ensure the smooth flow of the webinar so during the webinar all attendees will be in mute mode so in case you have any queries you can type it in the chat window my colleagues will reply you or we will answer it during the question and answer session so this session will be recorded and shared with you in the follow up email there will be two post question at the end of the session so i request you to answer those question so after that we will have a question and answer session you can drop your questions and we will answer you or we will contact you after the webinar if the detail explanation is needed additional information will be shared with you in the email after the webinar so please give your feedback in our follow up email by answering the survey which will help us to improve more and we can help you in a better way thank you for your cooperation so first of all i would like to brief about carmatic as a company so carmatic was founded in early 1980s and have more than 35 years of experience in high level of customer satisfaction and we are one of the leading developer in digital and intelligent 3d based design engineering and information management for marine plant and construction industries so here if we notice we have three main business verticals and we have more than 6000 customer organizations in more than 60 countries all over the globe so if i talk about the first vertical which is process and industry we have very strong presence in indian process and nuclear industry and we provide the best solution for the plant customers so in marine segment we have very strong presence in global marine market and we are proud to say our cadmatic is used by most of the globally known shipyards and in construction business we offer a wide range of building electrical design hvac design including building automation design volume and energy calculation and powerful modeling tool for architectural and structural design we have our headquarters in finland and in netherlands and apart from that we have more 12 offices in australia india estonia hungary russia and other parts in the globe and with addition to this we have our local support partners in 15 other countries Carmatic is a dynamic and future oriented company and we are growing day by day we love challenges and we make things come true so as we all know for a whole project life cycle many documents are needed and various consultant and subcontractors comes into the picture okay so starting from the mother document which is pnid and it is the base for any of the project so we can start with the design the pni id in carmatic diagram module and that later can be integrated to our 3d plant where we can do the detailing of the project and using this detailing we are able to create the deliverables for construction and fabrication and those are then reviewed using our tool e share where we can access all the documents and can track the live operation data and carmatic laser scan modeler is the best solution for expansion or modernization of existing plants and ships so here you can see the different products from carmatic information management product family okay so here the first one is carmatic e browser 
The e-browser is the ultimate project review tool which allows user to walk through the 3D model, combine several models in one or compare. Also, one can check collisions, easily locate and check details of any of the object, get dimensions, and also make markups for project coordination and change management. And next is Kermatic eShare. The Kermatic eShare allows to access all design related data in a single portal. So any data in any database can be linked, can be searched for, and can be visualized in Kermatic eShare. The next is Ego. So using Kermatic Ego, you can browse the 3D models on your Windows tablet, which you can easily carry to the site, providing offline access to the complete 3D model and 2D documents from the eShare server. Then the Kermatic follow-up. So follow-up allows the stakeholders of the project to view various project metrics from their phone, such as total pipe length, total mass of pipes, and number of pipelines, etc. Then the Kermatic eShare for HoloLens. The HoloLens is an app that allows the user to interface the Microsoft HoloLens with Kermatic eShare, and it offers entirely new interactive design and engineering experience in augmented reality where digital 3D model resides in a real world environment. So now we will see some of our customer references from plant and from marine industry. So here you can see some of our customer references from plant industry from the India. So we have our customers from different industries such as chemical, oil and gas, food industry, pharma industry. So here you can see the different customer references. Also, we can see the customer references from plant industry across the globe. So many well-known organizations you can see here, which are using Cadmatic. And there are many more. Also here you can see some of our customer references from marine industry across the globe. And almost 40% of the active shipyards are using Kermatic. So these are some of our customer references from plant and marine industry. And now we will have a glimpse of highlighting features in Kermatic software. So the, here are some of our highlighting features. So Kermatic is a user-friendly software and it is very easy to learn. The Kermatic has inbuilt database and CAD engines. So we are not dependent on any other software for the database and to generate the deliverables. Calmatic has extensive libraries of standards and components such as ASME, DIN, BP, Jacobs, Alpha Laval, Econosto, etc. And also, if we have any special type of components, that also we can make in Calmatic li library very easily. The Calmatic lightweight technology offers a very less model file size, so we can easily transfer the files. Kermatic is very cost effective. The online clash detection helps to avoid the clashes during the modeling stage itself. And work, rest, work request feature allows the user to communicate with each other in Kermatic interface itself. Next is co-designer concept for distributed design. So using the co-designer concept, now it is possible to work on a single project from two different locations. And these different locations can be to different buildings or it can be to different countries as well. And the work sharing can be online or it can be in offline mode. And this co-designer is included in Kermatic basic package without any additional costs. The sister project management tool of Kermatic 
is used to save man hours while working simultaneously in similar kind of projects so if you are doing similar kinds of similar kind of projects simultaneously then the sister project management can be very helpful in reducing the time and efforts the information from third party systems like erp pln pdm can be used inside kadmatic using kadmatic web api so these are some of the highlighting features of the kadmatic and now we will start with our session on kadmatic cable router so the kadmatic cable router tool allows the user to route electric cables between the predefined nodal points of equipment via the nodal network formed by the cable ways so here in the right hand side image you can see the nodal network which has been formed by the cable ways and using this nodal network we can route the cables very easily the cable routing can be done automatically and the route can be modified using the manual method the layout of the cable trace can be changed at any time and system adapts to those changes the system also checks the maximum capacity of the cable trace so here if you will see the cat this is the interface of cable router manager okay so here you can see in the kadmatic plan modeler so in whichever pc user machine the kadmatic plan modeler is installed so from there we can open the cable router manager okay so for that we can go in tools and under tools here we can see one option as cables so whenever we click on the cables so this interface of kadmatic cable router opens and in this cable router manager interface here on the left hand side you can see the hierarchy according to the status of the cables so whenever we click on the routed so at that time we can see the list of cables that has been routed in the kadmatic cable router and whenever we click on not routed so at that time we can see the cables which has been created inside the kadmatic but the route for those cables is not yet defined so those we can see under the not routed and the cables which has been routed but after routing the path of that cables has been changed so those we can see in the route changed and the routed cables after which the path for that uh, cables has been deleted or it has been removed then, then those will be listed under route broken and the cables which we are creating in kadmatic single line diagram and those we are updating to the 3d so those we can see in a not created diagram cables so whenever we click on any of the routed cables in the uh, cable manager so at that time we can see on the left hand side view the the preview opens for that particular cable so which shows the two equipments in between which the cable has been routed and also the path it is taking to route the cables so it is very easy to track the cables and the path of that cable so there are three methods of creating the cables inside the kadmatic so using three these three methods we can create the cables inside the kadmatic or the cable information in the kadmatic cable router and using automatic or manual method we can route those cables okay so first method to create the cables in the kadmatic is by manual method so using this manual method we can fill the information about the cable one by one and after creating those cables we can route it using the automatic routing so how this works that we will see with the help of one video so now i will play one video to show the how we how we can create the cables inside the kadmatic this is a kadmatic plan modeler and here we can see the different different tabs for different different modules so we can work in any of these modules using kadmatic plan modeler also here we can see 
the different object types like here we can see the pipes cable trays structural members equipments also here we can see the pipe rack so in this way we can visualize the whole project in a single plan modeler also here i have made one view in which i have clipped the area in which i want to work so here we can see the equipments has been already placed the cable trays has been routed and also here we can see the conduits using which we can route the cables and also over this cable trays we we can see some transparent spaces so these are called as a cable tray service space so whenever we route any cable tray or any other object in cadmatic over this space so it will show collision so in this way we can reserve or we can allocate some space over the cable tray so right now what we will do we will create the cables manually in the cable router and after that we will see how using those cables how we can route those cables out using the automatic method and after that how we can change its path manually okay so for that i will go in tools tab and under tools tab i can go in cables and when i click on cables here we can see the cable manager window opens and to create the cables i will go in create so in the create here we can see in the right hand side we have to define the information about the cable and first we have to define the cable id or the name for this particular cable then we have to define the system for this particular cable so i will give as control cables and here you can see it has taken interference class automatically according to the system so if suppose i want to change it so i can change it as well but right now i will keep what it is coming from the system also i will i can choose the cable material so here we can create different different sizes for the cables and that we can save in the cadmatic library and that we can use any time okay so now i have given the information for this cable now we have to define the head and the tail equipment for this particular cable so either i can give the position id for this equipment or i can pick it from the model okay so right now i will pick this el4004 as head equipment and here you can see it has taken the position id automatically and similarly for the tail equipment i can pick it so for this i will select this motor as mp109 so this is how i have defined the information for the cable and now i will add this cable so here we can see the cable has been added and now i will create one more cable so i will give the name for the cable and i will select the system as power cables for this cable also here you can see the interference class has been taken automatically and the cable material again i can select the size of the cable and similarly i will select the head equipment is el4004 for this one as well and here now we can see one more option as a virtual okay so if suppose the equipment is not yet placed in the plan modeler but we know the approximate position of that equipment which is going to be placed so what we can do we can give the position id for that equipment and we can give the x y and z location for that particular equipment so here what i will do i will just give the x y z location for this particular uh, equipment and the z okay so this is how now i have defined the information for second cable as well and i will add it and now i will close this so the cables which we have created now we can see under the not routed so here we can see 
these two equipments in between which the cable has to be routed and for PC001 here we can see the head equipment and at the tail equipment there we can see a virtual point which we have created because the equipment is not yet placed so using this point we can route the cable so now once we have created the cables now we can route the cables using two methods either we can route it automatically or we can define its path or the route manually okay so first we will see how we can route the cables automatically so using auto routing how quickly we can route this cable that we will see and for that all i have to do is to click on auto i have selected those cables and now i will click on auto and now you can see from not routed it has been disappeared and it will be available under routed so here I can see the CC001 and here we can see it has taken the nearest cable tray path and using that cable tray it has routed to the tail equipment. Similarly for the PC001 here also we can see it has taken the nearest cable tray and at the end here we can see it has taken the path of conduit. Okay, So using this conduit this is how we can route the cables. And if suppose now I want to make the changes in the root of this cable. Okay. So I want that this cable should not follow the root of the conduit and it should directly connect from the cable tray endpoint to this particular point. Okay. So what I can do is I can change its path manually. So for that I will click on that cable and I will click on manual. So in the manual method here you can see uh, different different options like first is select the first node. So in this we can select the first node of the cable and also we can select the last node and the no the nodes which are coming in the root of that cable. So in this way we can define the path of that cable manually. So right now what I will do I will just change the last node for this particular cable. Okay so right now the last node is the end of the conduit and now we want that this should not follow the path of conduit. So what we will do? We will select this as a last node. I will just accept the root. And now here we can see it has routed the cable directly from the cable train point to that particular point. So this is how we can create the cables manually inside the charismatic and after creating those we can route it automatically and also we can change its path using the manual method. So now we have seen how we can create the cables manually in the cable router. And so if suppose the number of cables are more and it is not possible to create the cables manually, uh, all the cables manually in the charismatic cable router, so using one more method we can you import the cables inside the charismatic directly that is using the excel import okay so we can fill the information of the cables in a specific format and that we can import in the charismatic cable router directly and that after importing those cables we can use those cables to route okay so here you can see the sample of the uh, format of the Excel template which we have to import in the charismatic. So using this Excel uh, template how we can import the cables that also now we will see. Now we will see using Excel method how we can import the cables in the charismatic cable router and once this cable has been imported how we can route it using the automatic method okay so for that i have one example format of excel file ready with me so here we can see so this is the example format of the excel file which we have to import in the charismatic okay so here first we have to define the cable name or cable id for all the cables which we want to import 
and after that we have to define the cable material for each cable so which uh, cable sizes we have created in the cadmatic library so those we have to map here okay and then we have to define to which system does this cable belongs to okay so if it is a power cable or control cable or any other type of cable so that we have to define here okay so the next here we have to define which interference class this cable belongs to okay so here you can see i have used the short tags for the uh, cables so this we can configure and we can define in cable router settings the next here we have to define the position id for the head equipment okay so the head equipment of that particular cable we have to define and if suppose that cables head equipment is not yet placed in the model then we can give the x y and z coordinate information for that particular equipment okay similarly we have to define the position id for the tail equipment and if suppose that is also not placed then for that also we can define the x y z coordinate information and also we can define the cable attributes so different different attributes we can define and we can fill the information for those attributes and also we can create the new attributes as well so after filling this information for the cables then we can save this file as dot xml file okay so we have to save this file as dot xml file and once we save this file as dot xml file then this then it is ready to import in the cadmatic okay so now i will go in cadmatic 3d plant model now i will go in cable manager so here to import the excel file into the cadmatic now we have to go in tools and we can click on import okay so here we have to show the path for that particular xml file so i am selecting that file so here it is that xml file which we have created and once i click on that file here now you can see the new four cables has been imported okay so those information for those cables here we can see and if suppose any cable is already there and we are just uh, defining it or we are just updating its information so those cables will be listed in the update one okay and the cables which has been failed to import so those will be listed in the failed one so here we can see the cable c1004 has been failed and the reason for that failure also has been described here so here we can see the cable head equipment is not found from model and no location defined so for this particular cable the head equipment is not yet placed in the model and also we have not defined the x y z coordinate information for this particular cable so that is why it has been failed so now i will just click on okay and now we can see those cables under the not rooted category so here we can see those cables and the equipments in between which it has to be rooted okay so once we have created these cables now similarly what we have to do is we just have to click on auto to route this cables automatically or we can define its path manually similarly as we have done earlier okay so i will just click on auto and now here we can see the cable has been routed so in this way we can import the cables using excel method and after importing we can route it automatically So now we have seen like how we can import the cables using Excel method inside the Cadmatic, and how quickly we can route it using the automatic routing method. 
So this is how we can uh, get the information from electrical department in specific format and that we can easily import in the CADmatic. Now we will see the third method to import the cables into the CADmatic and that is using single line diagram. So as we know that CADmatic diagram module in that we can create the PNIDs and also we can create the single line diagrams. Okay. So whenever we create any new drawing at that time system asks that which type of uh, diagram it is if it is a PNID or it is a single line diagram. So accordingly we have to choose and we can create the diagrams. The interface for both is same and the working procedure is also the same. Okay. So now how this single line diagram works uh, that we will see now. Now we will see how we can make single line diagram using CADmatic diagram module. And once this single line diagram is ready, how we can update it to the 3D and using that cable information, how we can route the cables in cable router. So for that, first I will go in CADmatic diagram module. So here you can see the interface of CADmatic diagram module. And whenever I create any new diagram, so at that time system asks that which type of diagram we are going to make. So is it a PNI diagram or it is a single line diagram. Okay. So whenever we are creating a single line diagram, we have to select on electric. Okay. So right now I have one single line diagram already open with me. So I will create one cable in this diagram only. And after that we will release this information to 3D. So here you can see the equipments are there already and also some cables has been routed PCBL001 and PCBL002 and also the CCBL001. So right now I will route one more cable from the switchboard to this pump and we will update it to the 3D. Okay. So I will start routing the cable from the switchboard this pump okay now cable I have routed and now I will assign the system for this cable okay so here I am assigning the control cable system for this cable and now I will edit the data for this particular cable so here we can see the data card of uh, that cable is open now so here we can define the attribute values of uh, this cable and first here what I will give the cable ID for this cable as 002 and also here we can select the material for this particular cable from the cadmatic library okay so I'm selecting this one also I can select the interference class right now I'm giving as control cable and also we can define the different different attributes and also if we want we can add the uh, more attributes also to this panel okay so right now i'm giving apply and i'm giving okay after creating the cable also i can give the label for this cable so here you can see the label has been also added now my single line diagram is ready and I will update this to the 3D. So here I can update this integration to 3D. I will give. So I don't want a new revision. Now I have updated this information to 3D and now we will see in Cadmatic 3D how does this reflect. So I will go in 3D. So here is a cable manager and here in not created diagram cables we can see these three cables are only there and the new cable which we have made CCBL002 it is not yet appeared here. Okay. So for that what I will do I will just save it and I will update to cost database. So after updating here we can see the new cable has been added and also in the view we can see the two equipments in between which it has to be routed. 
so this is how we can create the single line diagram and that cable information we can update to the 3d and using that information now we can route the cables and for that what we have to do is i will select all these cables and i will just click on create so whenever we click on create so those cables from not created diagram cables it will move to not rooted okay so here we can see those cables are now under not rooted category and from here now we can route this cable using our automatic method or manual method similarly as we have done earlier okay so i will just click on auto now that cable will be under rooted so here we can see the cable has been rooted using the nearest cable tray so this is how we can create a single line diagram and after creating the single line diagram that information we can update to the 3d and using that information we can route the cables so now we have seen all the three methods of creating the cables inside the kinematic cable router and using those uh, cables how we can route it automatically and also how we can change its path manually so now once the cables has been routed in the kinematic 3d so now using those cables how we can generate the different output and how what are the different settings we have to do in the cable router so that now we will see and for that i'll play one more video now we will have a look on what are the different types of settings available in the kinematic cable router and also we will see what are the different types of outputs we can generate from the kinematic okay so for the settings we can go in tools and in the tools here we can see the button as settings so here we can see the different options available for cable router settings so for settings for the cables and also while routing the cables for generation of drawings listing and while importing the excel okay so for this we can define the settings for, so for cables here we can see we can define the different different interference classes as per our requirement so here are some of the uh, interference classes which are being used in industries also if we want to create some new one that also we can create and also here we can see the additional tail length and additional root length that we can add either in length or we can give in a percentage so whenever any cable will be rooted so this much uh, tail length and this much root length will be added to that cable's total length and also here we can define the maximum direct jump between the head and tail object if there is no cable way in between them okay also while routing we can define some rules like the segregation distance so here in segregation distance we can define that how much should be the minimum distance between the two cables of different interference classes so if suppose there is a cable of high voltage cable and a power cable so there will be a 40 mm uh, distance will be maintained in between them okay and uh, how it will be beneficial that we will see afterwards so this is how we can define different different settings in the cable router okay and now we will see one more uh, feature in the cable router like if suppose there is one cable so here it is the cable and if suppose I want to set a pull marker for this cable so the pull marker is a point from where the cable is delivered okay so here I can set the pull marker and I just have to show a particular point in that cables route so this is a node point I will select as pull marker so here you can now see this point has been added as a pull marker so whenever uh, the cable will be delivered it will be from this place and we can get the length of the head equipment from this pull marker point and of the tail equipment as well okay so this is how we can set the pull markers and also now we will see 
if suppose i want to see that from this particular uh, cable tray node point or from this uh, particular point how many cables are passing so for that here if you'll see i have selected that node point and these five cables are passing from that particular node point okay so if suppose this i want to see in a uh, pictorial view so that also i can see so suppose from this cable how many cables are passing so that section view if you want to see so here you can see the fill rate view of this particular cable tray and here you can see there is a minimum 40 mm of distance has been uh, maintained between these two types of interference classes and also here at the bottom we can see the cable names and also the fill rate of this particular cable tray so this is how we can generate the fill rate view drawing and this drawing now we can use to place in any uh, 2d drawings okay so i will just save this fill rate view drawing okay so now we will see how we can create the drawings in the cad matic okay so for that i will go in tools and here i can click on create drawing so here i will okay i will select this drawing and now so in this uh, page i will create a drawing so for that i will create the views and here i will create one top view and a front view and i will select objects which i need to show in this drawing okay so for that now i will select okay so i have predefined some set of objects so that only i will use now here we can see the view has been generated and now i have to assign those views to the page so first i will assign the front view also i can scale it which is perfect also i will place the top view and for that also i can give the scale okay and also i can align this view with the above view so here you can see it has been aligned and i will place this view now so this is how now i have created the views and i have assigned those views onto the page and now we will see how we can insert that fill rate view drawing in this page okay so for that i have to go in tools and in miscellaneous there i can see option as assign cable fill rate view into the drawing okay so i will select and i will select the whichever the fill rate segment it was and i will place it near the cable tray so here we can see fill rate views inserted into the drawing okay so this is how we can make the use of this fill rate view into the drawing also i can annotate this view i can give the dimensions and also i can place the labels for this cables okay so for this cable i have placed the label and this uh, format of label also we can make as per our requirement right now i have made as cable to name and its size so this is how we can make the drawings and after that we can save it okay and after saving this also we can publish this drawing in any of the format okay we can export these drawings in any of the format so i have these many formats so any of this format i can publish this okay so this was about the drawings in cable router okay so now we will see how we can create the excel list from the cable router okay so suppose i have routed this many cables here so i want a uh, excel report for these cables so that also i can just click on the listings 
tables okay so here i just have to give the name for this particular report so i will give as table list and i have just have to show the format in which it has to be exported and now we will see the table listing has been created within short time and now i can see the excel report has been generated okay so here we can see the different information for the table the name of the table its dimensional description diameter also the head equipment and tail equipment information also here we can see the pull marker the length from this pull marker of head equipment and of the tail equipment and also here we can see the total length of the cable so this is how all the information of the cable we can export to the excel list and also this uh, format of this excel report is also easily customizable so we can customize as per our requirement so this is how we can create the cable list into the excel report so now we have seen how to define the settings for the cables in the cable router and also we have seen what are the different types of output we can get so now we have seen the three methods of creating the tables inside the kinematic cable router and how to route that using automatic method and how to change its path using manual method also we have seen what are the different settings we can do in the kinematic cable router and after the cable has been routed what are the different outputs we can get it from the kinematic okay so now here are some of the key benefits of the cable router the cable router tool allows to route cables between the predefined equipments the automatic routing of cable is possible and also it is flexible to modify the route using the manual method afterwards so easy import of cable definitions from ms excel via the xml link from which the cables can be created automatically the integration with the kinematic diagram module and electrical module the service space allocation for the cable trays also system checks the maximum capacity of the cable trays and it also maintains the segregation distance and shows the fill rate the section view of cable locations on the trays can be seen, visualized and also easy to generate the output data for the lengths of pre cut cables and cable putting routes so these are some of the key benefits of the kinematic cable router